Marta Kaufman and David Crane had their life experience, their years together in New York um, as really good friends, as starting out, as writers, as young adults in that city. And they presented um, their vision of what that time was about. It just so came from who we were and where we came from and, and our group of friends when we lived in New York when we were beginning our life of independence from our parents. That time in young people's lives just wasn't on the air. I knew from the minute I read that script there was something different. There was a clarion call for young acting talent throughout the industry going, how do I get an audition for this? They're all young. You'd never seen, that's what I like. You'd never seen them before. I'm Courtney, kind of. You'd never seen them before. I, lo I love casts you've never seen before. Because when they come on the screen, you start to adopt them, and you have no precon preconception of how, what they're going to say, or what they're going to do. Again, it's all surprise. So uh, I went to work with them from the first day, and I, you know, we started reading, and we read it a couple of times, and we put it on its feet. And you can tell there was this chemistry between all six of them. I think we all realized independently, you know, so this is a show about six people who are best friends. And we just met yesterday at the table read. We have to, you know, let's, I don't know, we ended up just staying together. They just look like they've been together their entire life. And I think I can, I think I contributed something to that. Jimmy had a director's room, and he let us have his room. And we could hang out there while they're fixing things or doing things. And we did not leave each other's sides. Some two people went to rehearse a scene, the other four were sitting in there. One of the, one of the tools I used to bond these kids was I took them to Vegas. He, let, he talked Warner Brothers into letting him use the Warner Brothers private jet and taking the six of us to Las Vegas because um, he thought, you know, that would be a great bonding experience for us. He was really good at making you feel like you're part of television history, and I wasn't buying it. We hadn't aired yet. He took us to dinner also, and he said, all right, I want you all to pay attention to something. I'm telling you, your lives are over. You are, you know, you're, you're a hot show. You're going to be recognized, you know? This is the last time the six of you can be out together like this without getting mobbed. So I want you to just pay attention to that and be aware of that. And everyone's like, wow, oh my god. And of course, I sat there going, well, we'll see. I mean, there was absolutely no reason to think it was definitely going to go. I mean, they were catapulted to fame very quickly. We were asked to be on Oprah, which we thought was really exciting. And then they showed people being interviewed saying, oh, we have friends parties. Like, we get together at someone's house and we watch friends together. And, she, and we were just like, huh. Wow, and we had no idea. The fact that the six of them had sort of gone through this journey together and a similar journey. It's not like when it started, one of them was a giant star and others were, you know, they all kind of, some were a little better known, but they all went through this process together and I think they were able to help each other through it more than anything else. For 10 years, I think we all, you know, in some ways, that was one of the best relationships that, well, certainly work-wise, you know, that anyone could have. But we really had to listen to each other, be very respectful of each other, keep each other in check. Um, you don't do anything or say anything sort of in public without checking in with the others. We learned that, too, along the way. Do you think you would ever consider doing a reunion show? Mm -hmm. We've, we've... We've resisted it uh, vociferously. Um, I did, we did it, we, we ended right. It felt right. I just can't imagine what that would be. Because we were already setting off, you know, Monica and Chandler are twins. Weren't they moving to Connecticut or something? And Phoebe's with Mike? I can't imagine what she's like now. But Friends was perfect. It was a perfect experience. It was creatively satisfying. We worked with extraordinary people across the board. Um, we had each other. It was successful in unimaginable ways, things I, I still, my mind 
can't quite comprehend. Um, and it was fun. 